So I just got home from work slash from Advance Auto Parts. And I have officially bought my first parts for the K-Series swap. It's nothing exciting. It's nothing like super crazy or anything like that. But let's take a look. Let's see, what's in here? A VTech gasket. Oop. Rear main seal. Obviously a valve cover gasket and grommets. Receipts. This is the throttle body gasket. This should be the intake, right? Yeah, the two intake manifold gaskets and one oil pan gasket. I have like a couple more gaskets coming in that they didn't have in stock, so they're gonna be shipped to home, but they're on their way to help us along with the rebuild. Um, I think my camera died and I ran out of space on my um, SD card when we were cleaning this. You can see it is a lot cleaner than it was. It was just completely black, almost like darker than this. You can still see some spots are pretty dark. Um, we're gonna degrease and scrub it down some more, but it looks um, I'm having a hard time finding the gasket for this water pump passage. Um, this one is obviously just done for. Like literally every gasket's done. So we're gonna go ahead and, you know, rebuild, do our thing. And we're not rebuilding, rebuilding. I am not breaking this engine open like I did with the Prelude. Um, maybe further down the road, I think for this project specifically. I wanna do the basic maintenance stuff to ensure a little bit of longevity and healthy nature to the engine. Um, but mostly we wanna be able to get it in and make sure that it runs. So if it doesn't, then we know where we need to go to next or from next. But officially first parts for the K-Series swap. I'm so um, I still have obviously a lot that I have to buy. We still have not found a transmission. Um, I need to get the motor mounts. I need to get special CV axles that attach to the K-Series and then obviously to the Prelude hubs. Um, <laughs> those are running about $500 for the set, which isn't bad. I mean, I think you usually spend I mean, I've always had cheap Hondas, so it's usually like $100 per CV axle. So you're looking at $200 just for like OEM replacements, and these are kind of custom split. So I'm like, whatever, $200, $250 per axle isn't awful. Um, yeah, like I'm probably gonna wind up ordering a Honda computer, but we just need the wiring harness and the um, ECU out of the TSX to at least get it to start and run, but we have a lot of work ahead of us and I feel like a lot of work is an understatement. So I'll keep you guys in the loop for what's to come next. Do you guys ever just sneak out into the garage early in the morning to stare at the engine and think of all of the possibilities that are gonna happen with this thing? Because I'm at right now. I'm, I got more sleep than I have in probably years and um, I have nothing better to do than to come out here and stare at an engine. This is just so unbelievably exciting and surreal and honestly this is probably how I'm gonna spend my day working on this thing. So. If you guys are ready, feel free to come along. All right, so when I say early in the morning, it's like maybe 8.30 right now, which is sleeping in for me. Like I said, I got the most sleep like I've gotten in years. Javier's still sleeping, in case you wanted to know. Um, which is why I was sneaking out with my coffee to stare at my engine. Um, I think today, I just want to finish kind of cleaning up the block and the head. Um, 
we've got to contact the shop and see if our parts cleaner bin will work because if so we want to take all our stuff up there we just feel like that's going to be the easiest way to clean things quickly i have most of the gaskets ready to go um to start putting it back together after it's all nice and clean but obviously we have to wait to paint everything until it's cleaned so we're kind of at like a standstill with everything has to be cleaned at this point so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna continue to clean so i spent a little bit of time cleaning and i was formulating a list of things that we needed so when javier woke up i recommended that we make an investment for the garage by getting a whiteboard so we can you know divide it up and put what all our cars need keep track of things as they come and go way easier than finding random pieces of cardboard and then accidentally getting thrown away or something so i'm gonna hang that thing up we're gonna write out my list that i created because it's actually um quite a list but it's still exciting it's just gonna be a little while of compiling parts and whatnot but here we go well, I'm at least staring at more than just the engine because now I've got the prelude hood open and just trying to like walk through what will work and what doesn't, if we're gonna have to get a new radiator, if the hoses that I have will work. And if you guys are interested, I color coded my whiteboard on a need or want basis. Pretty epic if I do say so myself. Need to build need to place would like for the future but I mean all in all it's coming along even Javier was like we've actually made more progress on this than I thought we would have I mean you guys can see it's starting to clean up a little bit we were talking about finding somewhere where we could pressure wash it you know plug everything up maybe put some of the parts back on and bolt them on just to hose it down but yeah she's gonna go in eventually once that whole list is, you know, completed. But, um, we were just talking, like, at least with this radiator, the hose is kind of center. Because everything's kind of backwards on the K24, um, where it connects is actually on the right side, the driver's side. Um, where the lower radiator hose actually connects is on the bottom. So, there's just a lot of little adjustments. We're talking about relocating the battery to the back to get more room in here. Power steering stuff has to come off, because I'm probably not putting power steering in but yeah fun stuff fun stuff just a lot of work fun work well it would be a full build so yeah more than just a rebuild mm -hmm. newer motor modern. i mean yeah it's it's all modernized we're switching to obd2 i mean Hopefully the parts are clean. the parts are starting to come in slowly you can actually get them yeah, I can actually get these parts. This one, if you look close enough, you can see I've had to like cut lines and all sorts of stuff just to make it work. But it's going to be awesome. awesome. This is also awesome. Yeah, we've got some moves for the CRV coming. Once this thing's probably done, though, we need a third car in the mix mm -hmm. before we can take off the, the other trusty workhorse. I can't believe I sold the Civic. Hmm? I still can't believe I sold the Civic. I regret it every day. Which one? Jessica or? All of them. All of the Civics have been sold. I still regret selling my Civic. Oh, I have Short story of my Civic. I sold it to one of my ex's friends because he needed a car and my ex was literally chauffeuring him everywhere to work, to the store. He was practically living at my house. So I was like, okay, you want the car? Take it. But it needs a timing belt done because it's about to go. Like you can see the wear on it. Kid didn't do the timing belt and then blamed me for the car blowing up. He blew up my Civic. And it was great, and I loved that Civic, and I romped around town all the time with my little fart cannon. It was great. Yeah, the gas mileage was phenomenal. I didn't have AC, I didn't have power steering, but I loved it. That's what this prelude's gonna turn into. No power steering, no AC, but just sheer fun. Yeah.
Bang.